uh, when he's charging, he also stops being heavy, so the stop lasts longer. Yep. Gotcha. Oh yeah, heavy affects that too. That's right. He, he basically just becomes a regular enemy when he starts charging us. Oh, that's not good. That's oh. really not good. That is supremely not good. Uh oh. Okay, Ooh, there you go. That is lucky. So those guys are like super good for grinding experience if you need it. But they also will give you an ass kicking. Yeah, not not with berserkers. It's not a great idea. Hmm. But uh, yeah, you could have absolutely just used break blade and beaten Quintania when he was charging. Break blade. And uh, part of Quintania you didn't oh. pick up on while trying it was that a couple of his moves are counter attacks. In particular, the tidal wave is a counter to physicals, but that ends up working in your favor if you brought coral rings, because uh, then you just keep punching him in the face and he keeps healing you with tidal wave. Yeah. I see. So, is the trick like he'll always cast Giga Flare if he gets too low on HP, or can you beat him to that? It's at a certain time in his cycle. After after waiting long enough, he will charge the flare. And as you saw, it charges really quickly. So, like, it's not no, a big saw, window yeah. you have. Yeah. Also, by the way, you, you may vaguely recall we mentioned, like, an ultimate bell, the strongest bell in the game in terms of raw attack power. Yeah. How you get it is it can drop off Twintania if you kill him when he's not charging Giga Flare. <laughs> So either beat him down before he charges once, or yeah. survive a Giga Flare and then kill him between one and the other. And your reward is a bell. Regardless, <laughs> the bell is absolute garbage. I'm a shuriken who cares. I did. <laughs> I am a ninja. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Let's hope Romeo. Yeah, out. nothing in Crystal Zone is worth fighting. These guys like their counters. There are some things that you could steal, like rare, otherwise unique items off of, wow. but you don't need to bother. Oh my god, your berserkers are going ham. <laughs> your berserkers are refusing to not go ham, and they are not letting you run away. I mean, you've got wow. the stop lock on them, so. Yeah, you might as well not, I guess. You got the stop lock, yeah. I, for I forgot to heal Bart, too. <laughs> Uh, Alright, whatever. Thanks, King Behemoth. The real King Behemoth, Behemoth here. Not bad. King. Okay, so... Stuff in Crystal Zone just gives money and AP. What?! You again. Gilgamesh. <laughs> just throw oh, it into the void. Fucking scamp. Alright. Let's start... We'll start small because I don't know if this is like a joke fight or what. <laughs> the joy of fighting Gilgamesh. I don't know if this is actually a fight. I don't want to go all in on this quite yet. This guy for real. There was that time you were a real boss, and that time you weren't, and then that other time you were. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, let's let's. I, I'm gonna pretend this is a joke boss for now. Wait, what? That time that you were half a real fight and half a joke fight. What? <laughs> oh, hey, it's you guys! What's up? You remember? <laughs> Sorry, I have been stuck in the crystal void for a long time. It fucking it's the pit. <laughs> Exodus oh just Lord. tossed him in. He's just been wandering around this dungeon for half the game. In all <laughs> fairness, that does mean he has been, like, killing king behemoths and just, like, murdering the shit out of stuff, so... I mean, he survived here for half the game. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, come on, Bart. What the hell? You could just walk out, Gil. <laughs> Aww. Doors down the... You, you just, you know, you head down the castle, through the sky, into the caves, the forest, through ghost town. Can't miss it. <laughs> that was ridiculous. All right, we'll see you. Good boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too because there's so many boss fights in a row that you're like, it's totally believable that they'd have you like do a refight of Gilgamesh there. Like, there's no reason why it wouldn't be. Right. Yep. Why wouldn't you let me run with preemptive attack? Come on. The the encounters here are really weird for manual running. Hey. All right. I guess we'll swift you. Whatever. 
Alright, Romeo's bow is working, I guess, so fuck it. Yep, that's probably the best idea because that'll cover your attacking, and then Swift Song will just let your guys attack faster mm. if uh, if you can't run. Crystal Dimension's annoying. Dang. There is one more regular boss between you and the end, and Shinryu is also between you and the end. Hmm. Regular boss is technically optional, but he gives you the last save point. Oh, Necromancer doesn't get stopped, it looks like. Oh, fuck it, though. He seems to be pretty stuffed. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, he, right. he's not doing a lot. Is it possible if they have an attack queued? Like, maybe it fires off, you know? Or I think that might be the case. Like, I think it just locks their ATP. Yeah, like, if their bar were already full when you stopped them, they'd still be allowed to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody actually made a hack for the Super Nintendo version that shows you, like, their ATB status, and it gives them, like, little bar information and stuff like that. Huh. So we're on a save state at some point, by the way. What? It's probably not a bad oh. idea to save state a little more frequently in here. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, there are some so. things... There, there are some things that will just fuck you right up. <laughs> they will just come out of nowhere and fuck your day up real bad. Good idea. All right. Here, item, high potion, you. All right, then. Okay, come on, Crystal Dimension. What else you got? Anyway. I feel like this has the most bosses of, like, a Final Fantasy at the end, more or less. Oh, hey, mine flies. There's a pretty there. dense final boss rush. Yep, mm -hmm. they kind of backload most of the bosses here. That's one thing I really like about Final Fantasy V, though. It seems like it has more boss per hour than, like, any other Final Fantasy game. Like, there are small encounters and stuff, and, I mean, this kind of is an exception towards the end of the game because there's a lot, and they're pretty dangerous. But, right. um... It seems like most of the time you're going from challenge to challenge to challenge to challenge as opposed to, you know. Yeah. Like, about... okay, so you if you have a save state, now would be a great time. Now would yeah. be a really good time to yeah, save state. Yeah, ch Chaclude, man. Okay. This is, uh, this is a very infamous box. Yes. All right, whatever. Else. Fabulous prizes await. Open this box if you want an axe kick. <laughs> wow, that's dick. You found a can of whoop ass. Yeah, no, it really is a huge dick move. That's are you incredible. Just... Slow beef, are you ready for the fight to be over? Yeah. Because the fight's going to be over. You are already yep. dead. Damn. Tokyo Tomari, yep, you're down. <laughs> Rip <laughs> tidal wave out of fucking nowhere. It yeah, sucks. just move on to the next room and you can win your <laughs> save point there. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's like you can't really say Shinryu or Omega are the hardest fight because it's kind of a toss-up between the two, depending on your party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both were both created with very... different kinds of super boss. Yeah, yeah, they were created with very specific party compositions in mind, so Fiesta having you not be able to do that is kind of rough. Yeah, here's the last of the normal bosses, Necrophobe. Right. Yeah. Gross Frieza. Why did I do that? Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Necrophobe. So, he's afraid of... Uh... Yeah, he fears death, so he sought the secret of immortality, and now he has it with his four barriers. Jeez, this guy hits hard. Yeah, he reflects an all attack of um, flare off of himself and his pals, and he is in fact immune to it, so yeah. No, the barriers do that to himself. He's to themselves. He's not doing anything right now because he's invincible. Oh. Yeah. Huh? He just kind of sits there. All right. Yeah, Necrophobe's a motherfucker. <laughs> he is a surprisingly hard fight. Hmm. All right, how to handle Necrophobe. Um, oh, I, I have one idea for handling Necrophobe. Let's see if it works. Um, just save state near him so I don't have to 
you know, do all that again. Why does he think I want that white anyway? Oh, I get it. He's corrupted. He touched it. He's he's got his tent set up on the safe point. Well, let's see if this works. Did not work. Well, that's no. I'm out of ideas. <sighs> yes, necrophobe. I do believe that. Holy, maybe is he weak to that? Possibly. Where? God damn! He hits like. A mu yeah, Every time though. they get a turn, you're either looking at four flare or holies, or four multi-target tier three attack spells. All right, so what to do here? I'm gonna have to keep. I can't sing because I need both of those, my both con both my controllable characters around to like, you know, do shit. Is that true? Oh. Maybe just harp at him, because, like, a big thing about this fight is how hard he's hitting you depends on how many barriers are left alive. So the sooner you can rush down one or two of them, the sooner it becomes manageable. The only problem is that you are kind of at the mercy of the RNG with your Berserkers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if he decides to focus down your Berserkers, you are in big trouble. How many fucking, uh... Oh, wait, okay. How many One... HPs does each barrier have? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a ton on each of them. I think it's like 8,000? Something like that? Yeah, around there. Uh... If you can set people up with elemental absorbs, then most of the time, every other round, someone will be getting healed. Managed to build up any number of elixirs during your run. Yes. Because now is the time to start spending them. Okay, I have four. But it's like this, or when it's worthwhile to just full heal up four. That's not a lot. You win. You're you want to save those? Though. Yeah, I would hang on to those. Four elixirs is not a lot of elixirs. Hoping I can kill one of those things. Oh. Yay! Okay. Yeah. All right. Two flares will still do me in though. So let's. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you bring this one back, Runax. You. Fuck. I mean, I should have right. You heal yourself a little bit. Flare. The other possibility, if you just end up scrambling but surviving long enough, is they don't have a huge amount of MP. And then if the barriers run out, they can't do anything, and you're free to just kind of sit back, relax, and charge up a song. Hmm. Is Blazaga hitting? Oh, shit. I should block one of them. That's good. Need to shield. Oh yeah, that's right. Phew! I say that about Aegis shield. Wow, good job, Bartz. Hey, um... Uh, Kral, you want to start hitting, please? Pat? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Berserker oh. ATB is kind of weird because they start off with a lower one, plus there's some weird uh, routine going on behind the scenes that Ooh. even once it fills up, they don't attack right off the bat. And Berserker's ATB stays full when they're dead, which is great. Because that <laughs> means as soon as you revive them, they immediately get up and swing because they're full of hate. <laughs> They're just so mad about being killed. Like, who the fuck are you? Ah! <laughs> you interrupted their weekend in Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my God. I should be okay. in a good spot. I'm running so low on high potions. I hate you, Necro. Uh. The real Necrophobe starts here. What? Oh, come on. That's all you can eat. <clears throat> All you can eat buffet of blind. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> God, that's like the worst fucking line. Like, how is that a dude? Like, yeah, you look like H.R. Giger's take on Frieza, and you're over here being like, All you can eat buffet of fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
How much HP does it? Do I have to actually worry about this or no? Uh, you can just beat him up a bunch. Alright. I hate that I'm not. Do you, have, do you yeah. have a holy blade? You might be able to swap that. Or no, because you don't have. Uh, I have holy. You can't use Excalibur, I don't think. But you, you can spell blade holy and that'll holy Yeah, there you go. Crap! Yep. Yeah, there you go. He is weak to every what? element. Alright, mission accomplished. Hi, Gil. Fuck. Don't get mesh, not now. I just figured No, out it's fine! <laughs> no, it's good! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Just wait a minute, why am I walking away from the greatest fight in history? What? Ah, oh, come on. Griffobe. How could you? Cannot even hold a birthday candle. What? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, at least the translators had fun, but... No, Barris! Barris, <laughs> no, Barris! Barris, Uh, Kryle's dead. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, she's so mad that she's talking regardless. Let's call him Lord. Yeah, just like lying over in a coma, just like sleep yelling, just ah! <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> Should I like be healing and stuff or is this You don't fight have to over? do anything now, the fight is over. This is a good <laughs> the scene. Fight's over. You just the constant hammers to Gilgamesh's ass. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let it just stay there. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We can't. You know how they get. <laughs> Ferris, try to act more like a lady. For example, stop throwing hammers at me. <laughs> Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> Self destruct. Oh. Oh. Gilgamesh! What a weirdo. <laughs> Nobody this. even pauses or anything.